today we're going to the worst IKEA products you should never buy. If you know me, you know how much I love IKEA and how much I love shopping there. However, there are some products that are a hard pass. So we're going through some of them, but in a fun buy this not that format. I'm Man, by the way. Thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so we can start right away. We are starting off with one of the most important things in any space and that is the lighting. And IKEA has always been my go-to place for pendant lamps. You can really find one for any style and budget. However, there are a few you want to stay away from and one of those is the Regolite pendant lamp. This one just doesn't look good and trust me, this one comes from a person who loves rice paper lanterns. However, this particular one just looks cheap and not quality. It will only make your space look like a dorm room and we don't want that. And I know it's only $5, but honestly, for a piece that's going to make a statement in your home, I think we can spend a couple more bucks. So instead, I would suggest to go for the Reese Bean Pendant Lamp. This one really looks more like a designer piece. I have this exact same one in my dining room and it looks so much better than the $5 one. The rice paper and the details in light birch veneer give this lamp a natural and stylish look. It kind of reminds me of the traditional Japanese rice paper lanterns and I just love it. Another lampshade that's a hard pass is this one. This one's hand braided and it just looks crafted and plasticky in my opinion. It honestly kind of looks like a party decor you can just buy at the dollar store. So instead of this one, you can check out some of the many beautiful rattan and bamboo lampshades. These look so much better, they are made from natural materials and spread the most beautiful light that will cozy up any space. And they just really make the best statement piece. Now let's talk about armchairs. IKEA has a lot of armchairs, however, there is this one armchair I just can't stand anymore. And it's their famous Pong chair. This one just screams IKEA, but not in a good way. I feel like everyone has this chair and it may be comfortable and budget friendly, but it just doesn't look good. It maybe looked trendy when they first released it in the late 70s. However, nowadays there are so many more beautiful and timeless options than this one. So instead of the Pong chair, you should go for something like the Lineback chair. This one looks so minimal and so sleek. I love the clean lines and the simplicity of it that brings visual calmness to any room. And for $69.99, I think it's absolutely worth the try. I'm honestly thinking of getting one for my living room. If you're aiming for a more traditional look, you can also check out this one. This chair is definitely a more timeless option. It adds a stylish retro vibe to the room that is inspired by the 50s Scandinavian design. The classic looks goes anywhere in the home. Plus, it's a quality and comfortable chair that will serve you for many years to come. And when we're talking about armchairs, I just have to mention the famous bamboo chair that people just have to stop buying for their home spaces. I mean, yes, this one is a great outdoor chair. You can add it on your patio or on your balcony, but it just doesn't look good indoors. So if you are into incorporating bamboo and rattan indoors, go for these two instead. This first one has a more thought out design, it's sleeker and it looks like something that would make a great accent piece in your space. The metal legs make it a statement piece and it just looks way better. You can also check out this one that's also made out of handwoven rattan. This one is a bit more pricey, but it really looks like a designer piece. It's airy, it's clean, plus a lot more sturdy and super comfortable to sit in. Now let's move on to coffee tables. 
And again, I'm going after a product I feel like almost anyone have in their home, and that is the LAC table. And trust me, I know why most people are getting it. LAC tables are such a budget product that almost anyone can afford, especially if you have a whole place to furnish and decorate, it can really get a lot sometimes. And yes, I agree, at some point in my life I also had a LAC table, they're super easy on the budget, However, they are not quality items, they're actually that part of IKEA furniture that's actually made of cardboard, and they just don't look good. So instead of getting a lac table, check out these ones. This first one is made out of bamboo, and I know it's a bit more pricey, but for a piece of furniture that's going to be in the middle of your living room, I think it's totally worth it. Also, this one made out of solid metal frame and tempered glass for $1.59. I just love how minimal and much sleeker this one looks and it's a better quality in general and it really shows. Now, if you're looking for an even more budget-friendly option that will look good in your space, I'd go for the Spalsta nesting tables. I talked about these tables in my IKEA designer products video. They honestly remind me of the famous Alvar Alto coffee table that retails for 1000 bucks. So if you ask me, these tables are a real steal. Their clean design makes them perfect for any space and they are also made of durable glued wood. Next on my list are floor lamps. And again, there are so many beautiful floor lamps I just love at IKEA. However, these two are just not it. This first one is made out of paper and has a similar design as the Regolite pendant shade. And again, it just looks cheap and fragile and just doesn't look good in general. Also, this one made out of plastic and recycled polyester. I feel like this one's just bulky and crowded. And honestly, for that price, you can get so many more beautiful lamps that will make your space feel cozy and well-designed. That being said, go for something sleeker and more minimalistic. One example is this floor lamp. This one has clean lines that just blend into the space, spreading soft light and making it cozier. I just love how minimal and stylish this one looks. Another great option is the Talbin floor lamp. This one looks so gorgeous combining frosted glass and chrome and it's a timeless piece to have in your home for sure. Plus, it totally gives this retro aesthetic and it spreads the softest light. And if these two are just not your style and you're looking for something more fun that will add interest to your space, you can also go for the Sinner Lingo Rattan floor lamp. This one's made of rattan and it gives a warm, welcoming glow into the space, creating decorative light patterns throughout the room. I just love the slim metal legs. They make it look so airy and minimal. Now let's move on to the bedroom for a bit. And the most important piece of furniture there, which is the bed. Now, a bed I really dislike is the Songi Sand bed. And I know this is a more traditional bed, but there's something about it that just feels dated and too bulky. From the details in the headboard to the wood color, it's just not working and it makes the space not well designed. So, instead of this one, you should go for a more sleeker option, which is the mound bed. Now, this one looks so much better, especially in this oak veneer. It has a more simplistic design and doesn't take over the space as much as the other one does. This one's also a more budget-friendly option and can also be purchased with storage boxes. Now, when it comes to the cheaper and more minimal beds, I would say just stay away from the famous wood beds and get a metal one instead. So, for example, instead of getting the Tarva bed or the Naden bed, which are both made of wood and just don't look good in my opinion, go for these two. These look much more minimal and sleeker, they have this airy feel and have a simpler and cleaner design in metal, which definitely makes them a better option design-wise. 
Next up are the rugs. Now, when it comes to rugs, IKEA has so many options, it can honestly get so overwhelming. However, my rule of thumb when it comes to picking a rug is to keep it simple and make it blend into the space. Not pop out, but blend in with the other pieces of furniture and decor. That being said, I would definitely stay away from anything too graphic. And a perfect example is this rug in this dark gray color and a really graphic design. This one will just take over the living room, bringing your eyes down and just crowding up the room. Also, these two are just not it. I think that these shapes and designs were maybe trendy a few years back, but they just don't look good now and are definitely ones I would not get from IKEA. Instead, I would go for a more setting and simple styled rug. And one example is the low house rug. This one is a jute rug. It's neutral and simple, yet it will give the space the much needed texture. Also, this one, which is probably one of my personal favorite IKEA rugs ever. This one's so beautiful and unique, and the combination of different waves and textures just give the rug a lively character. This one's made of wool and is hand woven by skilled craftspeople. And if you are into patterns and just want a bolder approach, just go for this rug. This one's a more budget-friendly option and you can use it on both sides, which I absolutely love. Also, this one is made for both indoor and outdoor use. IKEA has so many dining chairs and I honestly like most of them. However, some of them are a hard pass. Let's start with the Theodora's chair, which is this plain plasticky looking chair that will not look good no matter what color you get. Honestly, it looks like something you'll see in a fast food chain restaurant. Also, this one in that same plasticky vibe. I get it, it's cheap, but it doesn't look good. It looks like something a landlord would add in a basic rental and you just can't wait to change it. And the sad part is that there are so many other chairs that look so much better and are not that much more expensive. For example, check out the Osteno chair. This one's $35 and it comes in black and in this beautiful red color. I feel like a dining chair is the perfect opportunity to add a pop of color into the space and you can definitely achieve that with this bright red one. Also, this one from the new IKEA Spring collection. This one's a bit more expensive, it comes at $65. However, it really looks like a designer piece. It reminds me of the famous Bauhaus chair. It's sleek, minimal, and it's so worth it. I would also stay away from these IKEA chairs, that I just think it's time to leave them in the past, unbothered, where they truly belong. These chairs look so dated and there are so many better options at IKEA for upholstered chairs. For example, you can check out the Lilana's chair. They are airy and sleek and look like something you would actually see in a designer magazine. Or you can also go for the Clinton chairs. These have wooden legs and look so comfy and add such a warmth in the space. These are 105 and come in three nice colors. Now, IKEA is the best place to get curtains, period. They have the lowest prices, yet a whole variety of curtains that are so beautiful, from cotton to linen, you can find one for any style and taste. And my all-time favorite IKEA curtains are the Hana Lil curtains. These look so beautiful, they provide privacy while letting light inside your space. I have this in my living room and in my dining and kitchen area, and they look great. Now, you cannot go wrong with most IKEA curtains, as long as you stay away from these curtains with rings. Honestly, this reminds me of a shower curtain, and I feel like we should move past them already. The metal rings were never my thing, and I think they just don't look good in any space. And last but not least, let's talk about shelves. 
And once again, I have a product that probably everyone watching, including me, has in their home. And I honestly feel like what I'm about to say sounds so controversial, but it's just my opinion and I'm gonna say it anyway. It's a Calyx unit. Now I know myself how practical Calyx can be for storing anything. I have Calyx in my bedroom and they can fit and store so much. However, if we're talking about design and aesthetic, the Calyx shelves are just not it. They are bulky, they are boxy, they are made out of cardboard. Should I go on? They're just not the best product you can have, especially not as an accent piece for displaying the core in your living space. So instead of the Calyx shelves, I would go for the Vizio shelf unit. These just look so much better. They are sleeker and they are made out of metal and tempered glass that provides an open and airy feel. They honestly look so beautiful for displaying the core, books, even for storing glassware and tableware. They have the same cubic design as the Calyx shelves, but are definitely a better option to go for. And that wraps it up for today. I really hope you're going to like this video. This was actually a first one of this kind. So please make sure to let me know in the comment section below if you really liked it and want me to keep going for more IKEA products. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you designers next week. Bye. Mars, do you agree with me on the products? Do you agree with what I said? Will you say bye to the YouTube family? Say subscribe to the channel. Say like and subscribe.